Thanks for driving me all the way into the city, Jack. I mean, you really didn't have to do that. It's, it's okay. I mean, burying half a bottle of Irish whiskey is not my idea of safe driving. <laughs> so, besides cooked corned beef and cabbage on his wife's birthday, what does a high school basketball coach do with his spare time? You know, stuff like play golf, fish, drink a lot of beer. <laughs> But I'm actually taking a sports management course at NYU at the moment. Very exciting. <laughs> Molly, what does she do? She teaches English at the high school. She's a teacher, too. <laughs> That's really exciting. What did you two meet at a PTA meeting or something? No, <laughs> it's actually during cafeteria duty. In the hot lunch line, I hope. Yeah. Something like that. I bet you were a big jock stud in high school. Running around in the back of your father's Buick, breaking all the little girls' hearts. No. I've always been pretty much a one-woman kind of guy. That's what my ex-husband said when I first met him. He wasn't? No, he was. I just wasn't a one-man kind of girl. I don't buy that. Your problem is you just haven't met the right man yet. Oh, I've met plenty of them. My problem is they all want to marry me. You know, if I was smart, I just find myself a nice married man. What good would that do you? Because then there wouldn't be a question as to what we both wanted out of the relationship. Now would there? Do you want to come up for a cup of coffee or something? You know, I, I should really be heading back to the island. Traffic and stuff. All right. Some other time? Yeah. Some other time. Okay. Some other time. Thanks for the ride, Jack. Have a good night.